Hello. Again. Hello, I'm Nick Hancock, guardian of a room more horrible than the men's toilets at the Glastonbury Festival. <laughs> yes, the shelving units of room 101 are stacked high with all those things that make the world a naffer place, like verrucas, doner kebabs, and banks that refuse you a loan and then send you a leaflet offering you a loan. <laughs> Each week, my guests will try to persuade me to put their hit list of hate into room 101. Will they succeed or will they have to take their horrors home? This week's guest is Caroline Quentin. Lovely to see you, and so in the pink as well, you're looking very well. Thanks very much. Uh, any that didn't make the final list? Um, I thought opticians I would quite, quite like to have gone in. Really? Nothing to do with eyesight, it's just that I do have my eyes tested regularly, so I do actually wear glasses for watching television news, and whenever I go, I've got a rather attractive optician, and, and he leans over to me, and he sort of, he puts those things in, and he flicks one in, and he goes, can you read it now? And I go, no. Can you read it now? And he's leaning about here. And I always think he's going to kiss me. <laughs> and he never does kiss me. And he's like agony. He's just, like, he's just there for ages, hovering. And he sort of, he doesn't want to pucker because it looks like he's throwing himself at him. <laughs> you are, <laughs> obviously. Right, your first choice. Yes. Now, this is a peek into the sophisticated world mm -hmm. of ladies' fashions. Let's bring it round. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you see my point, should I say? <laughs> <laughs> or my points? Right, so this is what? Bras or lingerie? It's not all bras. No. It's no. bras for women who have breasts over the size of egg cup. Right. <laughs> so here we are. I've been given an alternative. Now, isn't that beautiful? You see, I think that's really beautiful. Mm. Look at it. Who wears this? <laughs> Nobody. Because if, you, if you've got bosoms, you know, if you've got big Charlies, if I can... <laughs> <laughs> if you've got big Charlies, they don't make them out of this. No. If you've got big Charlies, they take you in, you go into the department store and the lady goes, hello, can I help you, madam? And you walk past all the lilac and the pinks and, and the beautiful, silky, diaphanous little things like this. Yeah. And they take you by the hand and they take you into a dank corner in the corner, <laughs> <laughs> behind, behind a sort of grey velvet curtain, and they throw you in, it's dusty. And in the corner is underwear made out of tarpaulin, <laughs> RSJ, um, <laughs> surgical bandage, yeah, that yeah, sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And because if you are over a C cup, they will not let you wear anything like that. Mm. You have to wear camouflage kits. Basically. <laughs> what would you so fascinate that? Because like, like underwear was, was just the most exciting thing for an adolescent boy. You know, you spend. You're quite like yeah, that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Even this I find rather exciting. <laughs> I still feel this desperate. Just, just Go for it. Just, just a second. Now we're all adults. Oh, fair enough. But like, you know, you'd spend many a happy afternoon when you were 14 flicking through the Freeman's catalogue. <laughs> and, you know, and learning all these fantastic new words like cami knickers, you know, <laughs> and, and teddy, and basque, and basques. That's exciting to me. And then suddenly you're finding out about all these things and you're watching the news and it goes, another bombing tonight by Essa, the Basque separation. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got an example um, of, of uh, 60s, I think it is, bra advertisement, which is excellent, but just watch out for the terrible dubbing. Here it is. <laughs> ah. Hello, Mike. Is it time for lunch? Mmm, why don't you bring your friend along? Thanks, but I'm her mother. <laughs> you know, from your figure, you look as young as your daughter. <laughs> from Playtex. Its exclusive crisscross styling lifts the bust to give you a younger looking shape. Invitation still on? But of course, girls. Hello. Cross your heart. <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, you've got to say the bit that uh, they said we had to say. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, I've, I've been told that I have to say, it's a le legal ob obligation for me, I can't even say that. It's a legal <laughs> obligation for me to say that actually there are very beautiful bras for the larger lady out there nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I was thinking, you know, they, they, like, they have shops for very, very tall people, yeah. like high and mighty. Yeah. So, so what do you Big want to... Big and juicy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to let um, lingerie into room 101, I'm afraid. Oh. And I'll tell you 
tell you why, I just don't think you've really been inventive enough. You can surely take a large bra like this one and jazz it up. I mean, we've got a... We've got an example here. And just... That's upside down! Oh, yeah. Um... I've been out with lots of girls. That's lovely. Like that. We've got Les Leslie Judd did that for us. Leslie <laughs> Judd. So you'll have to take all those things home. Okay. Me, I'm afraid. Quite like that. It's not bad actually, is it? <laughs> I take back everything I've said. Oh, I've got to have all this. Yeah. Okay. Right, so pop them in the box down there. Annoy me. And we'll be moving on to your next item. All right. In you pop. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. Right, your next choice uh, are a group of men and women that I think would do a sterling job, a sterling job in the meteorological office. There are weather forecasters. It's raining bears. Hallelujah, it's raining bears. Amen. So what's your problem with them? The most wonderful people. I'm sure they're nice people, but I, I want them to tell me what the weather's like. And mm. they don't. They, they, want to, they want to tell me jokes. Right. Another thing is, They've only seem to got, the men have all got one suit that they share. Yeah. <laughs> and the women have all got, I think probably three jackets, yellow for sunny, red for thunder, <laughs> and blue for rain or whatever. And they share those. So if you flip channels, when you, because I'm keen on the weather, I'm interested, I'm a gardener. So I'm flicking around and they, oh, I can, they must be in the corner and they're me on. Yeah. yeah. And hair, they share hair as well. That's the other thing. They share. Well, I don't think they tell you the things you need to know because like, it doesn't matter how often you're told from the age of five the difference between high and low pressure. Nobody, no one remembers, that's nobody right. knows what it is. You don't want to know if there's like, there's like a band of high pressure going through there. You want to know what to wear, don't you? Yeah. They should say, oh, and there's an anorak coming in <laughs> on this side. <laughs> Maybe down in the southeast, you'll need a bit of one of those yellow, but quite embarrassing uh, hats. Southwester. Yeah. yeah, and up in the northeast, you'll be able to wear that thinner cardigan that your mum bought you for Christmas. That's right. <laughs> Just to illustrate your that's argument, right. we can see a few uh, weather people. Well, that, means, that means Zorro's coming. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and this office, obviously, is the Blackpool Tower. That's that what goes there. Um, and that's... that's... safe. <laughs> <laughs> Good. because <laughs> yeah, apart from telling... One of the things they do is they tell you what the weather was like. I know, who cares? The, the, <laughs> the weatherman comes out and they go, well, this morning it was very sunny. <laughs> They know that's the only thing they're likely to get right. In fact, if they only told you the things they definitely knew, they'd come on and say, tomorrow, it's Thursday. <laughs> but let's have a look at a, a little montage of weathermen uh, telling us some useless information. Good evening to the Magnolias in Flower Home, which was a terrible change. <laughs> it's been a nasty shot tonight. And indeed, the fairly wintry weather is going to continue. Hello, well, I'm looking forward to a bottle of that scrumpy later on. It's certainly going to shut the cold out today. It's in most places. Snow showers in the north but a good deal of sunshine down in the south. Hello, this cloud is typical of tomorrow's skies. Alas, we will all be beneath the clouds. <laughs> 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 my, my case, will I rest my case? Um, the other thing is the shipping forecast. Does that hold any interest uh, for you? Yes, it does. I mean, no, it doesn't, and therefore it does. Yeah, yes. it's completely... Cromarty, Dogger... Who, where? Yeah. What are you talking about? And it's like, it's only for such a small... It's on so often, it's for such a small Three percentage people. of the population, yeah. Three people on the boat like that. Yeah. <laughs> they know it's stormy, they know it's stormy yeah. They can't stand That's up. Right. What you actually want is the shopping forecast. Yeah. Well, the shops with something in today. Tesco good, Safeway fair, Sainsbury's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you're still not looking at me. No, oh, yeah, I can no, tell. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because the weather is like the only two minutes of the day that people actually get to talk to their family. <laughs> And also, the other reason is, I think weather's got much, the weather reporting's got much better. Because this is a genuine, I swear to you, genuine clip of how weather was reported on telly in the 50s. Okay. Uh, it's the weather. Central <laughs> and eastern districts of England will have fog at first, but uh, clearing by mid-morning will dry and then this <laughs> And this is the weather forecast, and now I'm afraid to say, about 16 and a half minutes later than published, here's late night live.